Hey, this is Steve Shaw for acrylicpouring.com, and in this video I want to explore using pour painting to create a landscape scene. Of course, it'll be an abstract landscape um, because you can't really control the paint that much, um, but my idea is to have um, some layers of green against kind of a blue sky in the background, and I played around with this idea actually several months ago, and I just haven't had a chance to get back to it. So I really want to explore this a little bit more, but this was my first attempt, which I thought came out pretty great. On this one, I put some blue across the bottom, had some yellow mixed in, and I did a swipe across to get some cells popping through. Uh, did, did some green, a little, some globs of green, and I literally just dragged like the end of a paintbrush going through there to create the trees. Super light blue in the sky, did a little swipe with some other colors. Um, tried the yellow, it's kind of a sun sort of thing in there. Uh, the black back here, not crazy about, but you know, you've got to try. You've got to make a few mistakes to get things the way you want. So um, today, I'm going to use the same idea, but do it on a longer canvas, 10 inches by 20 inches, um, which I think will kind of capture that landscape feel a little bit more. Haven't done many of these, so as usual, you're learning, you're right here doing it with me, and uh, we'll see how this thing turns out. Now, I have pre-mixed some paints. Um, I don't, I'm gonna be totally honest with you, I don't always know what paints I'm using because I have a nice supply of them here. Sometimes I mix things up and just they sit for a while, but I know I've got um, a little bit of metallic cobalt blue by Artist Loft mixed with some silicone and Floetrol. It's in a cup right here. Uh, I've got some apple barrel blue that I have mixed in with some Floetrol and a little bit of water, which is in my squirt bottle here. I've got a green that's like an army green uh, or an ivy green. I believe this was an apple barrel. Actually, do I have the bottle? Yeah, here we go. Um, this was old ivy, and I mixed it up with a uh, Floetrol and some water. I've got a lime green, which is probably mixed up from uh, some, oh, I'm not sure. I'm probably folk art, but I can't tell you the name of that exactly. Again, a little bit of water, a little bit of Floetrol. I put a few drops of um, silicone in all of these. Got some white on the side mixed in. This is my uh, Artist Loft white that's mixed up with some water and a little bit of Floetrol just in case I need it. Not sure if I'm gonna need it or not. Um, one thing I'm gonna do with my canvas, I don't know if you've heard of this thing called the rule of thirds. Uh, it's one of those things they kind of teach in art school or if you read about it, but it's kind of cool. Um, basically, you don't want to split a photograph or a painting in half. Um, if you do that, your brain just kind of registers like one half is one thing, one half is another, and it's just not as interesting as doing two thirds and one third. Um, if you want to look it up online, the rule of thirds, um, there's a lot of good information about it, but basically it just makes things look uh, more interesting to your brain or to the eye. So I'm going to measure out here. This canvas is 10 inches tall, so a third of that would be a little over three inches. I'm going to go about four inches. Actually, I'm going to go three and three quarters right here and make a little mark. Now let me see if I'm doing this upside down. I'm going to let yeah, I've got to mark it from this side. So I'm going to go down to seven inches from here. So I'm going to leave, there we go, seven inches from there. Three inches from the top, which go down to seven inches. And um, I've never measured it out like this before. I've always just kind of eyeballed it. But what the heck, I'm here. I'm going to do right across here, nice and light. Boom, boom. All right, I may end up scooting that around, but I'm thinking mountains and hills here, sky up here. Again, um, nothing set in stone that can move around. And since we're using fluid paint, it probably will move around. All right, next, um, usually um, colors that are closer to you are a little bit brighter and the farther away, kind of the, the darker they get. The um, No, wait, that's just the opposite. Richer, brighter colors are are closer to you and they get faded a little bit lighter off in the distance. Anyway, I'm going to just do a couple of lines of these uh, blues and greens, mostly greens. I'm going to go with a line of this turquoise. This is that cobalt blue. All right, and that's almost more of an oceany kind of color. Here's this uh, lighter kind of metallic green. A 
bit of this old ivy that I would call army green. Going thicker on that, or more of it anyway. Okay, and then this yummy lime colored green. Let's see what that does. So I'm gonna put lines of this. I, I keep being torn on this, whether I should just tilt or if I should do a swipe. Um, but I think right now, gosh, that's, <laughs> that's pretty just like that. Look at that. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna tilt this and see what happens. Boom, 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 down over a little bit, down there, bring back. So it all went away, but see if we can bring it back. And if not, I'll put some more on there. Oh yeah, all of that just disappeared. Where did you go? Huh, just lost all of that pretty dark. And I'm already up to my top up here. All right, let's put a little bit more of this down. And scooch that up there. That's, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of pretty there. When I'm stretching it some more, that's getting kind of nice. Um, let's try a hint of this lime down here just to see what happens. I'm going to say I love working intuitively. You just kind of see how things feel, see, you know, what how it goes as you do it instead of trying to plan stuff out. Because when I try to plan things out, I just find I get more frustrated because it's not, the painting ends up not looking the way I'd like it to look. Um... <laughs> Going back down. All right, this I'm not totally happy with. You know what I'm going to do? Let's see what happens if I put some white and just do a swipe down the side of it. Or maybe even just a layer of white and swipe up across this thing. All right, there's that. I'm gonna use my good old swiping tool, paper towel, spritz bottle. I think it's the best swiping tool there is. And it's very cost effective because it costs nothing. I'm gonna tear this in half. I'm gonna just lay this on here. The spritz and the water on the paper towel gives it just enough weight to kind of lay on there and let's pull up. All right, that, ooh, nice pretty cells going through there. Pull up again. Really nice. And as I'm dragging this down across the bottom as I'm doing it, ooh, I had a little bubble in there. May have to pull that through. This is pretty. We're getting some beautiful, I'm gonna blip this up, getting some beautiful cells in here that I'm really happy with. I'm gonna drag across this side over here. It's got a ton of white in there. There we go. That's looking really pretty. Tilt a little bit. Tilt a little bit. All right, I'm gonna do something. Wow, those are some pretty colors. All right, um, I see my mark up here, right about here and right about here. This is kind of crazy, but I'm just gonna try it. I've just got another piece of plastic here. I'm gonna just slide this right off over to the side, okay? Sliding that right off. I can just kind of see my pencil line from before. Still happy, there's a lot of beautiful stuff going on in there. Okay, so from here, this is that um, kind of a lighter blue that I had, and let's just do a quick, uh, that's, you know what, that's still kind of dark. I may add a little bit of uh, white to that right quick, just to lighten it up a little bit. Let me grab a cup. I apologize, I should have done that before, but I'm gonna add some blue, some white, Oh, I'm 
glob of white just dropped in there. I'll try to scoop that out later, or maybe I'll just leave it. Um, here's a little tiny hint of yellow. I always keep a little light yellow around. Just a little shot in there. And a little drizzle. I've got some purple over here. I'm going to just drizzle in. It's laying around. All right, so here's what I've got. Um, I'm going to do a quick little swirl in here. And so this is really nothing up here. So I'm just going to do a pour, straight pour. And I'm going right along that line. Coming back. The idea is that I'm going to either um, swipe this. Oh, that's pretty. Or um, tilt it to kind of fill in the sky area. Oh, man, that's nice. Wow, look at that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... um. Got a little craft stick here. I'm just gonna lift, see if I can just lift this little bit of white out that's bugging me. Or at least make it part of and more of an element of the uh, painting. Yeah, that worked. Wow, check that out. All right, I'm gonna do a tiny, no, no, do I tilt? Um, I'm gonna blow on this a little bit just to see. I wanna get everything over here. The reason I'm not tilting right now is I'm afraid that if I do, um, I'll lose this kind of horizon line right here. But let's just see. Yeah, I'm going to tilt it. I can't stand it. Got to do it. Boom. Tilting up. I'm tilting back. Oh, yeah, that's nice. All right, going to tilt back one more time to get it closer to that three quarters. Wow. Guys. Um, I'm digging this. Is it showing up pretty good there? Yeah, all right. The, um, the, if I were going to do this again, remember one of these things I always say when you're done with your paintings, take a look at it, figure out what you like, what you dislike, um, what you would change next time. I'm loving this, but um, when I'm looking at it, I think I would make the sky a little bit lighter to create a little bit more of a contrast so this would pop out more. But there's not a darn thing wrong with this. I am, I've got tons of cells. But I'm just, I've got my little torch, so I'm just going to see what happens. Oh, you know what? That's, that lightened up the sky quite a bit right there. Woohoo! Nice. Beautiful. Oh, this is fun. Do I need to do anything down here? No. All right. I'm really happy with this. Um, I'm tempted to put one drop of color over here to show maybe like to represent a moon or a sun. The only problem with that is if you do that, sometimes that sucker will just keep spreading out, spreading out, and it kind of loses everything. But um, oh, let's tilt this a little bit more up. Wow. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I think this is done. I really, really do. I'll come back and tap the edges, but uh, it's not quite the rolling hills kind of look I was going for. It's almost like underwater or something coming up, but I am really pleased with those colors. That looks great. So um, this is a uh, poured landscape. Uh, again, this was one of my early attempts, and I'm going to work on this a lot more, but I think this is a uh, pretty darn good starting point. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video, and feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you like the content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, most of my paintings are going to be for sale at my Etsy store. So if you just go to Etsy.com and type in Steve Shaw or Art by Steve Shaw, you'll see a lot of my work there. Thanks for watching. Bye.